Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. So let's jump into the reading for Scorpio, spirits, angels, guides. What messages, guidance do you have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know regarding the person they are thinking about or dealing with at this time? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Scorpio? What are they thinking or feeling, Spirit, when it comes to Scorpio? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I am burdened by guilt and regret. Yikes. This poor person. <laughs> The grass wasn't greener. Isn't that like tale as old as time, right? People always think that it's going to be better on the other side, but they don't realize they're taking themselves there. So they're still dealing with the same, same old, same old. Any other guidance, messages, insight into this person that Scorpio is or will be dealing with? What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio? I am starting to understand our connection, okay? Maybe what it meant to them, maybe that it was different, um, you know, than other connections they've had. You know, sometimes it sucks, but sometimes you have to see that the grass wasn't greener on the other side to realize, you know, what you truly had. What else do we need to know about what this person's thinking or feeling? When it comes to Scorpio, what do we need to know about this person's feelings, energies towards Scorpio spirit? What do we need to know? Please forgive me. You are always on my mind. I'm ready to commit. Wow. I'm getting like begging energy. No offense here to anyone. But I feel like someone's willing to beg. I think this person thinks about this a lot. Um... Again, I'm getting this energy of someone who's like really remorseful, like emotional. Let me get some more insight, please, for Scorpio. What do we need to know? All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box if you're curious, by the way, Scorpio. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What do we need to know? Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. Interesting. I feel like this person wants to come back to, and it's like you and only you. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I want to commit to you and only you. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for Scorpio, please? What are they think you're feeling about Scorpio? Walking away. You're walking away towards something more fulfilling. Coming together at the bottom of the deck. So this person, interesting. This person could, some of you could be dealing with someone who's married. And they're walking away from their marriage to be with you. Others of you, this person walked away from you and they regret it. They want to come back and commit. So let's see. Let's see what we can get here. of the tarot for Scorpio spirit what do we need to know about this person's thoughts feelings energies towards Scorpio what do we need to know about what they're thinking feeling when it comes to Scorpio what do we need to know spirit what are they thinking of feeling when it comes to Scorpio what do we need to know all right, let's see, Scorpio. Okay, so what they're thinking, feeling currently, Five of Cups. My God, look at this. I'm telling you, they feel terrible, this person. Nine of Cups. What are their intentions, next actions, justice, Libra energy, Five of Wands reverse, very clear energy. This person's energy is very clear. What do you need to know? Any hidden factors? The Sun reverse. 
five of pentacles my goodness this person is like struggling they're deeply unhappy um what's at the bottom of the deck king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy the person is determined this person is determined um hmm We will see what all of this means. I mean, the, I mean it's very clear energy. Uh, we have three fives on the board, guys. So <laughs> number five, number about challenges, obstacles, conflict, right? Changes. And there's three of them on the board. So whatever your person is going through, I think when, when they think about you, they think about the problems, the obstacles that ha that are preventing them from being with you or whatever challenges or obstacles they have to face, you know, to get their goal. Because this King of Wands knows what they want and how to get it, or at least they're very motivated, um, willing to take risks, passionate, um, bold. And this person, I feel like in their mind is like, what do I have to lose? I've already lost something huge. Tell me about the Five of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Very rare. These energies in here for Scorpio. The Hermit, Virgo energy, and then we have the Chariot, Cancer energy. I'm telling you, this person's thinking a lot about you. A lot. It's almost like they want to see you, be with you, talk to you. There's the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is their wish. Their wish would be to fix this, to make things right again. Can I get one more for the Five of Cups, Nine of Cups? Can I get some more energy, please? Some insight. Why are these energies here? The world. I mean, look at this major arcana, guys. Major shifts in energy, um, which tells me your person's thinking big. Um, this is this is someone that's thinking and planning. This is someone that is very focused. Like I said. They have a choice to make here. Wow, and the tower after that. They have a choice to make. Okay, tell me about justice and the five of wands reverse. To me, this is resolving the conflict. Making a some sort of big decision here to resolve this conflict. Bring back the balance. Tell me about justice and the five of wands reverse. Tell me about justice with the five of wands reverse. Nine of cups. Tell me more about justice and the five of wands reverse. Ten of swords. King of swords. Interesting. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Page of swords. Okay, so what I'm getting here with this ten of swords, I'm getting that this person wants to talk about what happened. Uh, maybe there was a third party or perhaps they just want to get together and talk let's meet up um, let's talk about you know I have something to tell you whatever the case may be um, but I feel like this person they want to talk about what happened um, I feel like they need to unburden themselves because they're very burdened right now and, you know all they think about is you they could even be observing you here and I feel like this is with the King of Swords, they're very serious about what they're telling you, right? This is somebody that's honest to the point of being blunt. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Five of Wands. <laughs> Man, these fives are killing me. The High Priest is at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Clarity. Clarity. Opening up. Um, whatever hasn't been spoken is now being spoken. I don't think you've talked about what happened with this person. I think maybe there was a lack of closure or things ended badly. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Tell me more about these Nine of Cups, please. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Someone held back. I feel like this person has held back what they truly desire. Their biggest hope, fear. I feel like there's they're, they're they're tied. Their biggest hopes are tied with fear and regret. 
this person has held on to you but also held back because I don't think they've really talked to anybody about what they're truly feeling and what they truly want. Communication is very important here. And now with the Sun reversed and Five of Pentacles, I could take this as someone that's deeply unhappy, struggling in their unhappiness. This could be depression. But I can also see this as someone who's kept hidden or silent about their unhappiness. Tell me about the Sun reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Sun reverse with the Five of Pentacles. What can you tell me about the Sun reverse with the Five of Pentacles? The Devil, yikes. Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Sun reverse with the Five of Pentacles. This is the what you need to know, what any hidden factors. This could be hidden from you, you might not be aware. Page of Cups. What about the sun reverse five of pentacles i really feel like this person um yeah there's justice again this person is all they do is think about this you are always on my mind literally i think this person's suffering through depression addiction or just emotionally they're going through a tough time all they think about is fixing things with you which tells me if the grass wasn't green on the other side something's happening over there and Maybe it's a toxic situation. Maybe it's an unhealthy environment. Maybe it's terrible over there. Maybe they are tied, stuck, right? But I'm thinking that this is just an obsessive, you know, obsessively thinking, obsessively wondering. Um, all they think about is apologizing, making things right. Like this is all they can think about. How do I make things right? Because wherever they're at, they're unhappy. Wherever they're at right now, they're very unhappy. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil spirit. What can you tell me about this devil energy? The emperor and the eight of wands. Aries energy with the emperor. Ace of pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's like thinking about talking. Thinking about moving, making moves, new opportunities. Look at this. The magician, ace of wands, ace of pentacles. This is this king of wands. They're, they're obsessed with making this happen is what I'm getting. This is all they think about. You did a you did a number on this person, Scorpio. I don't know what happened between you, but like I seriously am getting someone that's willing to beg, to get down on their knees and beg. I feel like this is someone that's gonna tell you like, what do you want from me? What do you need for me to show you that? I'm serious. What do you need me to do? I will do it. That's the energy that I'm picking up here. Now, of course, this reading will not resonate with every Scorpio watching, okay? So keep that in mind. Just because you're a Scorpio and you're watching this reading for Scorpio does not mean this is your story. Um, but for someone out there, this is definitely someone that is willing to do whatever it takes. This is somebody that is willing to apologize. Yeah, and be open and honest about it. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, the World, Justice, Page of Cups, the Chariot. Look at all these energies, right? Justice showed up twice. Very important. King of Wands, Emperor. These are doers. Now, the Hermit is a thinker, Virgo energy here. But the Emperor and the King of Wands, these are doers. These are people that do things. They make things happen. They take action. <clears throat> so this Emperor with the Eight of Wands here, I feel like all they're thinking about is what move they're going to make towards you, Scorpio. Can I get one more for this Emperor? Can I get one more, please, for this Emperor? Nine of Wands. Can I get one more for this Emperor, please? The High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like this is the person that hasn't spoken. They've really been guarded. They've guarded, I feel like they've buried their feelings deep. And now they, they can't, I feel like they want to unburden themselves. They're planning in secret as well. Like I get that too. And with the nine of wands, five of pentacles, the sun reverse, this person's not doing well. Their health could even be affected. I'm seriously thinking about someone that's actively like depressed, you know, very unhappy, desperate almost. 
So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope it resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe for more readings from me. Thank you so much for watching, for all of your support. Uh, leave me a comment if you'd like to say hello or tell me if the story resonated. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.